Tales from Animalia, Genesis 3, The Royal Test of Worthiness, by me. Over 3,000 years have passed since the nations of Animalia were established, and the land's current king, Topher IV, was retiring after having ruled the land for 78 years. And as he'd not fathered an heir, he had to choose his successor. This was the fifth time a retiring monarch had to choose their successor because they had no biological child to succeed them to the throne. He had a list of over 50 candidates who were hoping to be chosen as the next king or queen of the land. So he summoned them to the palace for a briefing. In order to be chosen as the next monarch of Animalia, a citizen had to be worthy of the throne. The royal test of worthiness was very important for commoners who were shortlisted to succeed, a re to succeed the retiring monarch. He addressed them all. Welcome, candidates, to the royal test of worthiness. As your king, I am retiring from my rule over Animalia. However, due to never having married or fathered an heir to, or heiress to the throne, I am required to select a worthy candidate to replace me as your king or queen. In the end, only one of you fifty candidates will be deemed a worthy successor and crowned king or queen of Animalia. He told them. Just as he was setting up the first task of the test, an, assa an assassin tried to shoot him. But one of the candidates, a young lion named Leon, Grayson, threw himself in front of the ki in front of King Topher, taking the bullet for him. After seeing that, the remaining forty-nine candidates saw no point in competing for the throne and withdrew. After three days in the royal infirmary, Leon was summoned to the throne room by the retiring king. He stood down and handed over his royal robes. Leon ascended to the throne. Topher then read him through the royal pledge of allegiance and the royal promise to be a good leader in combat and a good reigning monarch. After swearing to all those things, he was crowned King Leon the first of his name. Having fulfilled his final duty as the now retired monarch, King Leon acted on his first duty. By officially awarding Topher for his 78 year reign over the land and relieving him of his rule. He then ordered for the arrest of the would be assassin who tried to kill former King Topher as he was retiring and sentenced him to permanent exile somewhere else in the known world, outside Animalia. This would mean the secrets of Animalia would be stripped from him, and he'd become another ordinary wolf that walks on all fours and growls, instead of actually talking. This was agreed upon as a great first decision he could have made as the new king of Animalia. Within three years of his reign, King Leon married his childhood sweetheart, young lioness Rosie Hammond, making her Queen Rosie the sixth of her name. As there had already been five queens named Rosie. They were also they were so happy together as husband and wife, and fathered a and fathered a son named Leo. Prince of Primary. This meant it was Leon's duty as his father to train him to be king himself one day, 
once he was old enough. And that was the third part of the Genesis arc for the Tales from Animalia. The next episode will come as soon as I've written the story for it. Until then, thanks for watching.